We are back here on Conversations for the Couch. And Michael, you have a fantastic guest to introduce us to. Yeah, a couple months ago, we had Chris Butler from Butler Marine on, and we were talking about boating in the Beaufort area. But then we started going down a path trying to figure out some federal regulations and some organizations yeah. that are trying to help the boating community. Right, yeah, so uh, one of the uh, best organizations we have in the state is called South Carolina Boating and Fishing Alliance. And what we, I'm the chairman for that uh, board, and what, what we do is we stay on top of state regulations and federal regulations that may affect fishermen or boaters, mm -hmm. um, or in some cases both, um, to let them know, hey, the, the, this regulation is coming through and we get a seat at the table um, to, to talk to the state legislators to let them know, hey, you may have some unintended, unintended consequences yeah. with this legislation. Um, you know, the surprising thing is someone can say something to a state senator about a uh, oh, no-wake zone. Well, the state senator doesn't know anything about boating. Uh -huh. And so they immediately uh, yeah. go to action to correct a problem, but then go too far. And that's, mm -hmm. we, just, we just solved that problem um, last year where they were trying to sw swing it down to like 550 feet, which would almost eliminate it, uh, you traveling at a normal speed on a lot of our waterways. Mm -hmm. um, not realizing making a regulation like that would, what it would do to the whole state along the coast, as well as, as, well as in some of the um, lakes. So we got that, you know, moved to uh, 150 feet, which is more reasonable. Okay. Than, yeah, distance. Yeah. Well, that's smart because, and, and you're right, I run into that with CCA, is they'll do a fishing regulation. Okay. And it's some representative from Clemson area that's telling <laughs> us about saltwater fish on the coast. Right. And they have to vote. And so if they don't get the conversations with people who are involved in the right. industry, they don't know the difference. Yeah. And so, so you're advocating. having that voice at the table is huge. Makes a big difference. We yeah. also have a representative um, on now for the uh, South Atlantic Fisheries uh, Advisory Board, okay. not on the council, but we help to, to select those, help the governor in select making recommendations good. Uh, for those uh, people. So we have a, a, a good uh, representation from recreational fishermen as well as commercial fishermen. Um, because those two voices need to be need yeah. to be heard because on the recreational side, you know, we provide about 50% of the economic benefit um, for the state, but yeah. we don't a lot of times have have the voices that we mm -hmm. need to have there. So are um, they like, like lobbyists snapper. basically? Yeah, yeah we're, we're like a lobby group. We, we talk and, an and talk group. to a lot of senators uh, like we re uh, we're sponsoring the um, Old Miss game in South uh, at the South Carolina game. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We're the representing body for that. So we'll have boats up there. Um, and it's just a way uh, for us to just uh, open the eyes of legislators that may not know as much about the low country and how important boating and fishing are mm -hmm. uh, to our economy. Uh, because six out of 10 of saltwater uh, fiberglass boats in the world, the largest ones are built in South Carolina and a lot of people don't no know No kidding. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it is a huge economic impact, about $5 billion to the state economy. Whenever, because biggest uh, uh, tackle manufacturers, the two largest, uh, Pure Fishing, um, and you also have Shimano, they're both based in South Carolina. Wow. So yeah, you know, it, we yeah we have a big impact within this within this yeah, state to huge. the whole country actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and when you look, if you concentrate down in you know below Charleston and you start looking at Beaufort, Hilton Head, the yeah. number of boats here and the, oh, yeah. and yes. the, and that impact with marinas and. And but people buying bait and tackle and buying equipment. I mean, or coming down to just this spend the weekend section yeah. is huge. Yeah, we have a lot of people that come down for the weekend out of Greenville. Well, when they come, if they don't have a second home, they're getting a hotel room. They're spending money mm -hmm. for gas. They're going to our restaurants. You know, that's a that's a massive impact that 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 comes when you start because they don't come by themselves. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, no one wants to hang out on a boat by themselves. They want to bring friends. Sure. Yeah. I mean, right. That's what I hear. I don't have many friends, so I'm on a boat. <laughs> right. You can't own a boat. You gotta have, have a friend. Yeah, I'll go out with. Why do, you, why do you have such a big boat then? I mean, yeah. 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 You know, it's one of those things. Cause not because I'm not very tall. So. Okay. There you I go. love it. <laughs> so oh. Beaufort River. Yes. Wake zone between bridges. So the way that that's, that's done, and we've talked to uh, DNR about this, is you know, that's more for the larger vessels uh, when you're coming in, sport fishermen, those okay. types of things. Mm -hmm. um, on the smaller boats, they really don't enforce that. But the rule within Coast Guard is you can't, well, the biggest rule that's really broken is you cannot go under a bridge 
at you have to be at idle speed. Yes. And no uh, way. Okay. Yep. And people blow that all, oh, the, yeah. time. all the time. Once you get past that, then in between you're not. But then the no wake rule comes into effect uh, at 150 feet. And then the overall encompassing rule is you are responsible for your own wake. So no matter what, whether it's a no wake zone rule or not, yeah. if your wake is too big and you cause damage to a dock, that's on You're the operator fault. of the boat. Yep. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, interesting. So, yeah, so there's a lot of- That's good information. Kind of, yeah, there's some common sense yeah. rules on yeah. the waterway. Michael, Larry, Aaron, we had a great show today. We thank all of you for conversations on the couch.